Hey Disney fans, welcome back to my channel. So today we're finally taking a look at Meg, uh, Megara, the limited edition doll that is commemorating, of course, the 25th anniversary of the movie Hercules. Uh, this was speculated and rumored for quite a while, and then finally we got kind of a sneak peek, and now we've got the doll to look at. So stay tuned as you look at her box, all of her details, we look at Meg, and I really do want to know what you guys think. Okay, so as always, box first. So we do have the new style box. I do love that we do have the corner protectors on this box, though. I think that is quite nice. We have the Hercules logo. We have the 6 Plus in a really cool uh, font there. We have the Disney Store logo. I love the, the Greek... Um, kind of uh, column looking here like the parthenon i think that's pretty cool we have megara there um this wonderful design here at the bottom she's limited edition one of 7200 she is still available in the uk i believe in germany france and all those other places she did sell out and as of this morning she was also sold out on the u.s site as well so we do have some really cool uh, gold ink uh, embossing there on the plastic cover on the back here, of course, I've not opened mine yet, so it says uh, a little bit about uh, herself, the doll. Um, and then, of course, in another language, we have this beautiful lavender purple tied ribbon. I love that we have Pegasus here on either side of the Hercules logo. The box is really, really nice. I do like it quite a bit. Um, of course, a new barcode. Um, I do feel like the box is a little pale in comparison to other boxes, but I think they just want us to focus more on Meg, and that's probably why. But if you look closely, the hologram or the, like, the holofoil or whatever is kind of like clouds. Um, so that is kind of neat and ties in, of course, with uh, Olympus there in the background. So I think that is a really nice touch. I love little star shapes and star bursts and all of that. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and get the plastic removed. And we'll take a good look at Meg. Okay, so I do have Meg out of her outer box. Um, first, of course, we're going to look at her certificate of authenticity. So if you want to pause and read it there, you can. I did get number 2,431 of 7,200. And I do apologize, guys. We're going to go a little old school for my videos on Meg. I am not taking her out of the box. Um, sometimes if I take them out of the box, it's because I was able to get two. This time around, I only got one just because I am literally running out of space. So I don't have space for one in box and one out. Um, so she is going to stay in. So just, I, I do apologize. I know you guys have gotten very used to me, uh, unboxing. Um, the only ones that I'm getting one of and deboxing are the designer series. Cause there's just so many of them. I just don't care. But Meg is such a special doll and we've wanted her for so long. I do want to keep her in her box and keep her nice. So again, upfront apologies. If you're looking for a deboxing video, this is not it um, but I am going to go over the details that we can see without removing her so let's go ahead and dive right into Meg who I absolutely adore so we do basically have the um, and I'm looking over there the designer series um, Midnight Masquerade face mold for her uh, which I think is absolutely perfect we have her signature quaff and her curls so so well done um, I, I love, I love her hair. We've got like the aerial swoop almost going on here and they did it perfectly. Um, and then of course you can see, we do have that same thing we had with the frozen dolls where it's really high up on the neckline there. Not sure why they're doing that, but mm, they are. Um, but nonetheless, it does seem to be pretty well rooted. If I were to box, debox and it, it might show otherwise, but we do have two little ringlets on either side of her temple and then a little, little ringlet there on her forehead and then a cascading ponytail. This is all rock hard. I'm just going to tell you right now, um, if you don't like the ponytail, you are going to have to wash it because it is crunchy, 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 crunchy. Um, and since I'm not deboxing, she actually will look just fine <laughs> uh, in my box because I, like I said, I'm not going to touch her. So I'm okay with that. Again, to her face mold, beautifully done. Love her expression. Love the colors that they chose. They're purple and kind of a silver tone eyeshadow. She has very long rooted, dramatic eyelashes. I think it works out perfect. She has purple uh, irises here. Just a beautiful little highlight there. Um, just very, very well done. She has kind of a, a, a warmer tone purple. Uh, upper lip and a little bit lighter tone purple a bottom lip um, so kind of like a plum color almost she does have uh, earrings in her ears and I think those are plastic um, the um, the crown up here that we see in her hair we've seen before that is actually pretty much let me grab her here real quick the exact same yep it is whoops about dropped my camera there the exact same crown as the evil queen so you can see there it is literally the same metal piece that they use for the evil queen uh they did use to tie off her hair which i know that really bothered some people 
Um, but for me, I mean like head on, you don't even really see it. So eh, whatever. Um, coming down to her body then, she does have these beautiful gold uh, metal straps on her uh, dress here. And I know a lot of people were complaining because it's a very simple gown. Well, Meg is a very simple character. Um, and if you actually uh, go and check out Nonstop Spiders on Instagram, she designed this doll. She explains why she did not go with the full ball gown because it just does not fit the character of Meg. Um, so yeah, I mean, I'm perfectly okay with what we got. Honestly, uh, we got enough detail that I'm happy. So we do have kind of a three tone um, top here. So we've got this beautiful, almost like a gossamer type material. Um, it's got, a, of course, like a corset look to it. We have this darker purple piping here under the bust. And then we have a layer of um, kind of like a tool almost uh, there at the top. Uh, underneath, of course, you can see it is a sweetheart neckline. Um, beautifully, beautifully done. And then of course, at the waist, we have our signature drop. Um, I don't even know what to call it, like a waist tie, I guess, if you will. And this is where the metal work comes into play. So there's a metal brooch here with a little gem in the middle. And I believe there's another one on this side, if I remember correctly, but I can't see it. Um, there might be, maybe there isn't. I thought there was, but like I said, since I'm not boxing, not deboxing, I can't really tell. Um, but nonetheless, there's a beautiful sash then that comes down. Um, really, really uh, nice purple satin there. Um, and then her overskirt is where the business is at. Like, look at this. Look at all this embroidery. I love the embroidery that we have on her. So we got that beautiful Grecian design. We've got purple gems. We've got gold uh, floral filigree type embroidery going on there. Absolutely stunning. Um, it does go all the way up to the waist here. So it is very beautifully done. I do like it quite a bit. And of course it is on both sides. You can see that there. Um, I do really, really like that quite a bit. Um, she also has this really nice kind of a see-through material um, shawl that has has some gold um, embossed ink work on there. So it just looks like to be some floral prints, uh, prints there. So nothing super, super special, no embroidery or anything, but it does look pretty nice. And they needed to add something obviously to make it more of the heirloom quality. I don't know that this necessarily does that, but it is a nice touch. So, you know, I'll go with that. She also was given two gold bangles. So you can see here, nice, beautiful, big gold bangle. I think, I think those might be metal. Um, but she has one on each wrist. Her other accessory, which I think is a joke, um, and that's just my personal opinion, is this ridiculous plastic flower. Um, this looks playline to me. Uh, that was a massive disappointment. I think this either should have been fabric or left out, just completely left out, honestly. And even in the movie, even in the scene, it's not a purple flower, it's white. So that's really kind of frustrating. Um, I may just take that out <laughs> entirely. Um, I'm not sure yet. I just, all I know is that I don't like it. So if you like it, good for you. I don't. <laughs> and then of course we're going to get down then to the bottom of her skirt she does have and it keeps washing out because of how dark it is maybe if i move it back a little bit there we go nope um it just must be this material oh my gosh come on why is it doing this? There we go. We have this beautiful pleated uh, material here uh, that does look an awful lot like the skirt she wears in the movie. And if you give me just a second, I am going to snip these ties and we'll look at her shoes. Okay, so I do have it snipped here and we will get a decent look here at her shoes. She does have gold heels. Um, I'm gonna be able to show you as best I can there. Um, but yeah, I'll actually insert a picture from Shop Disney too, that way you can see. But she does have gold fabric tie-ups on those and just beautiful uh, gold heels. I do like that they gave her some pretty nifty little shoes there they could have went really really cheap and just gave her some you know heels like they've given dolls in the past but instead they actually gave her um very suitable uh shoes for the doll itself so that is going to be my review of megara i hope you guys enjoyed and yeah i am so so happy we finally have her Alrighty, guys well thanks for watching hope you enjoyed leave any questions and comments in the uh, comment section down below i'll be happy to answer them as soon as i possibly can i am so glad we finally did get a meg i love that uh you know we finally got something commemorating Hercules in the limited edition realm um, in the doll realm I guess you should say uh, aside from just the designer line that we got from the two masquerade series I, my heart and soul lies with the 17 inch dolls um, those are what I started with so that's always kind of be my passion I knew other people started with the designer line so that is their passion and that is all fine and good uh, for me though I just I always look more forward to the 17 inch dolls that release so to have a 17 inch Meg thank you shop Disney I love her so anyhow like I said that is going to do it I hope you guys enjoy I hope you're having an extra magical day and we will see you real soon.